3, 2, 1. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Welcome to Saturday Morning Cartoons. Yes, we're so excited you're here. We are very excited. In fact, Brooke is really, really excited. She actually got this. Whoa! Oh my gosh. <laughs> yep. So there you go. We're very excited. Yes. It's going to be a lot of fun. Welcome and, uh... party people. <laughs> we're ready to make some art with you guys today. We're ready to party. We hope you guys are too on this beautiful Saturday morning. Guys, this is our first time ever doing a stream. Yes, ever. it is. Yeah. So. Thanks for being here with yeah, us it's as we be a lot learn of fun. how to do this and figure it out. Yeah, and have a good time during the way. You just got a little bit on I you, got, but oh, it's, it's worth it, I think. How, yeah. how fun is this? Yeah. So today we are going to be drawing uh, a couple different things. We're excited because we have actually three levels of drawings today that mm -hmm. we're going to be doing together. So 
If you are, uh, are here, make sure you grab a piece of paper, grab some pencils, and uh, we're going to get started. And uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. So a few different things. We, uh, we are on, we're doing a live stream on YouTube, and so we aren't able to have a, a live chat because it is for kids. And so if you do have a picture that you want to send us of something that you've drawn today, yes. um, we would love for you guys to send it. Our email address is at the is in the description on our channel. So make sure you guys send that over. We would love to see what you guys are making. We have uh, a little Hall of Fame from our camps that we're going to be showing a little bit later. Uh, some of the some of our favorite drawings that we uh, that we saw from our campers this summer. And uh, yeah, we're going to just have some fun and draw. So you guys ready? Yeah. Well, and as always, as you're watching, if there's anyone in your family or anyone of your friends that you think they would like this stream, we'll be here for about an hour today. So yeah. make sure you like this stream. Make sure you share it with all your friends, share it with your family, because, uh, you know, the more the merrier. Yeah. So yeah, please share it. All right. Well, let's go. We're going to get started. Let's get to our first drawing. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's start with level one. All right, guys. So level one is, I've got confetti all over. <laughs> level one, we are going to start drawing right now. We're going to start drawing a Pikachu. All right. You guys ready? So with your pencils out, right, just start with a regular pencil, one that you can, <laughs> one that you can erase, right? Rub out whatever you need to rub out. All right. We are going to start with drawing our cute little Pikachu face for level one. All right. So one thing that all of our campers should know or anyone who's drawn with us before is that when we draw anything, when we draw anything at all, it always starts out with shapes. Great job, guys. I could hear you through the, through the stream. I could hear you. All right, so first shape we're going to draw is a big old circle. So we're going to draw a big circle for Pikachu's face. Just like so. We're going to keep it really sketchy at this point, okay? Don't get worried if, you know, you don't like your circle the first time. We're going to go back. Uh, and, and we'll be able to rub things out if we need to. All right, once you do the big circle for Pikachu's face, Pikachu has those big ear things that his lightning bolts shoot out of, right? So they're basically triangles, but what we're going to do is we're going to draw a big line up like this. All right, on both sides. Big line up like that, nice and sketchy, okay? And then we're going to draw one that comes right back down on either side. Excellent. We've got a picture on the screen if you want a picture for reference. I'm going to look at my picture and I see that I did not quite get the angle right on this one. So I'm going to redraw this one. See, that's why we can rub it out and use pencils and can always go back and change what we do. All right, that's a little bit better of an angle. There we go. All right. How's it going, guys? Everybody okay so far? All right, next detail we're gonna draw is, his face is a big circle, but it's also, you see on the sides how it's almost, it almost gets a little square-like. So we're gonna take that round, those round parts of the circle and we're gonna make them straight. We're gonna take out that circle-y part, that round part, okay? And we're gonna make it straight. Excellent job, guys. Same thing with his chin. Right along his chin, we're going to put a line as well. And then I'm going to take my my rubber here and I'm just going to rub out the extra lines that I don't need. All right. We see Pikachu's face is really starting to come together. All right. Next, we're going to draw Pikachu's cute little rosy cheeks. All right, so all we're going to do is two little circles. Here we go. They're going to overlap. They kind of come off the screen a little bit. All right, guys, how does yours look? Look okay? Really sketchy at this point, okay? All right, next we're gonna draw Pikachu's eyeballs. His eyeballs are like way on the side. I still have confetti in my hair, Tom. What the heck? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Next, we're going to draw Pikachu's eyeballs. They're circles, too. They're going to be right above his cheeks, just a little bit further in. So with your pencils, just do some little circles here and a little circle here. All right. And then Pikachu's mouth is just two semicircles right next to each other. So all we're going to do is semicircle there, semicircle there. And remember, if you don't love it, that's all right. That's why we erase. We can use 
our eraser as much as we want. Okay. Great job, everyone. Great job, everyone. All right, Pikachu's nose is just a tiny little triangle in this one. It's almost so, it's so small, it almost just looks like a dot. So just put a little tiny little dot triangle thing right here for his nose. All right, and now we can get to those details on the end of his ears. See how the end of his ears go that like black color? All we're gonna do is make a little line here for that. All right, and now we need to do uh, just a couple of details, right? You guys can see the light hitting Pikachu's eyes. Thank you, Tom. You can see the light hitting Pikachu's eyes, right? So I'm going to draw a little white circle in there so we can see the light hitting them. Then I'm going to go back to my eraser, and I'm going to rub out all the lines that I don't want anymore, right? So we made this really sketchy, right, while we figured out what we were doing. So I'm gonna just take my eraser and I'm gonna rub out all the lines that I don't want anymore. So like Pikachu's cheeks that were coming off his face. We don't need those lines out here anymore. Great. And now, once you've got all that done, guys, guess what? <laughs> we're gonna get to my favorite part here next. You'll never guess what my favorite part is. If you were at any of our camps, you probably know. What is All it? Right. I don't even know. You don't know what my favorite I part is? I don't know. No. Well, you're going to see. Is it coloring? It is. Cool. I think that's the best part of doing any cartoons. When you get to the end, and you get to add all the details, and you get to add all the colors. Okay. There's Pikachu. You know what? I'm going to flatten out the top of his head a little bit more. Because in the picture, his head is a little bit flat at the top. Okay. All right, guys. So Pikachu is really just two basic colors. We've got the black already that we've drawn. All right. We've got the black already that we've drawn. And then Pikachu, of course, like a lightning bolt, is bright yellow. All right. So what we're going to do is we are gonna get out our yellow first. All right, you got your yellows out, everybody? And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna color him all yellow. Like so, like that. Gotta catch them all. Right, that's what they say. That's what they say, yeah. What they sing, that's what they sing. Who is your favorite Pokemon, bro? Ooh, that's a tough question. Hmm. I really think Squirtle's really cute. Mm -hmm. Squirtle's so cute. I like Squirtle. Jigglypuff is also cute, though I don't remember what Jigglypuff does. I think I think Raichu is really cool. Like the Raichu, evolved. who is that? It's Pikachu, but like evolved. Oh. There's like a little bit Fancy. Like, of different colored colors and it, yeah, he's cool. And Charizard. I mean, Charizard's the best. Is that the evolved Charmander? Yeah. Yeah. He's like a, he's like a dragon or something. He's a dragon. Pretty much. Nice. I also really like Onyx. Onyx is that like rock guy. Oh yeah. Remember Onyx? I do remember Onyx. My favorite ones are the ones that like are just weird. Like, like what? There's like the worm. What's the worm one? The worm one. There's there's a couple ones that are just like strange worm shaped characters. Like they make no sense, but they're very creative. I guess the weirder they get, the better it is, right? Oh yeah. So I think I just like all the cute ones. I'm pretty basic. All right, so we've got Pikachu's eyes colored in. We've got the tips of his or her ears colored in. Okay. And the last part of our Pikachu is we just got to make Pikachu's rosy cheeks. All right. So you just got to color those in a nice, strong red, a really strong red. They're not like cute little princess rosy cheeks. They're like, like fire. All right, guys. And that is our level one. Well done, you guys.
Feel free to add some more details if you'd like. You can make it as serious or as as more developed as you want. This is as sketchy, this is as much as I'm gonna do today. We're gonna keep this one really simple because this was our level one. So level one's our most simple drawing. Level three is gonna be our most challenging drawing. Okay. What's level two? We just we can give them a little preview. So level two. Oh, you want to? Yep. Level two is Mickey. Yeah. We're level two. We're a going full, classic. A full Mickey, uh, like not just a face. We're gonna draw his whole figure, which is gonna be pretty, pretty fun, but a little bit more challenging. And then mm -hmm. level three, we're gonna be drawing one of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. We're gonna be drawing Leonardo, which is gonna be a lot of fun. So if you guys, I don't know if you've seen the new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie, but it is amazing. It is hilarious. And, uh, it's really really funny. And so. We're going to be drawing one of those characters, which is really a lot, a lot of fun. So, Yeah. All right, guys. How do your Pikachus look? If you enjoy drawing Pikachu with us, if you're proud of your drawing, which I hope you all are, have your mom or your dad take a photo of what you've drawn and email it into us at partycreatekids at gmail.com. After level two and level three, we are going to be trying to show some pictures. Yeah. Right? If yeah. we get any pictures in of what you guys have drawn, we're going to share some pictures on the stream. So make sure you get to get your mom or your dad or whoever you're with to email those into us and we will show them on the stream. Yeah. Yeah. So this summer we actually had a really, really fun week uh, of camp three. We had three camps. We did cartooning camps in, uh, in Oma. We did a cartooning camp in Bambridge and we did a cartooning camp in Dundrum. And uh, yeah. we had like a ton of fun. Like it was just so much fun being able to hang out and draw with all of our different campers and all that stuff and so we're gonna go through and we're gonna show you guys uh, a little bit of some of the cool things that some of our campers drew and so yeah uh, if you were at one of our camps maybe you might see one of your drawings here but we are very excited to show you guys this stuff because it's just a lot of fun and uh, you guys did incredible like you guys did so good and so let's check out some of these really cool drawings here this is from our Oma camp just really really fun there's Brooke being really, really crazy <laughs> and being expression. We're talking about expressions and like how you have to have like lots of yes. expressions and stuff. So yep, that was my room. We had a, such a good time, and I think that was our dress up day too because I see some some fun outfits in there. Yeah, so we learned. I mean, we learned so many different characters and so many mm -hmm. different things to draw. It was just it was a lot of fun, and uh, we had some incredible artists. You guys can see some Look of our guys drawn the, the shading on, on Mike Wazowski amazing isn't that so good like the the blue on the lower edge like that's just really really, really cool. good tones yeah and uh and we got uh was it Gromit on the mm -hmm. on the right this is very cool I like the the pose that our camper gave them and here's some of our awesome campers from from Van Bridge and just yeah. awesome drawings you guys did so good are those, some really creative characters. Are those the characters that they created themselves? Some of them are characters they created. Some of them, I think, are characters. Like, I, th I think I see Spider-Man. Um, I see, but I see a couple characters, it looks like. I see uh, Scooby-Doo and things like that. Oh, yeah. Here's a really, really great horse. Yes. Awesome. So good. Oh, that was so fun. Horses are so really well. hard to draw. I know. She like, did they're so, so difficult. Yeah. She and did so well. She got the anatomy right. She got the colors right. She did so well. Yeah. Really, really good. And here's a, some amazing characters. Yeah. We got Stitch here, but we also have a character yeah. that he created, which yes. I really, really loved. He, he designed his own designed monster. Designed his own one, which was he really, really cool. Story. He was incredible. He made a whole story for his monster, did a whole world. That was like one of the most fun days, I think, at camp when we got to make our own yeah. characters. Here's some really cool characters. I think these are ones that they created as well. Yep. Some stories uh -huh. and um, just really, really good. I love the... The butterfly and that I don't know if it's a dragon. I wasn't there. She whenever made up her she own creature. That. She made it up her own creature. It was so cool, mm -hmm. and I love the colors on it and everything. Just really, really so cool. So creative, girls. So we've got a minion here. Awesome job. One of my favorites. So good. I know. So good, right? Yeah, he was amazing. And here's another character that one of our campers came up with, Holly. It's just very, very cool, and uh, or Molly. I think the character's Molly, yeah. and. Uh, Oh, I like her, her rainbow top she's got on. Very, rainbow top. Very cute. Yeah. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Created her own little story for a character, which is really, oh, really she has cool. A, she has a pet. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. That's incredible. This was this Whoa. was awesome. This guy, he created so many characters all week, and this was one of his characters. It was kind of a, a knight uh, Viking sort of character and had all sorts of different powers with electricity on his sword and all that sort of stuff. It was really, really cool. That's one of the things that we loved about doing camp, and one of the things we love about helping kids 
grow in art and creativity is that there are so many opportunities to just do yeah. crazy stuff. And I think the older we get, the, the more we tend to just start, start, you know, getting a little boring. And, uh, <laughs> and so we just want to make sure all of our campers just try new things and, yeah. and make never things up creating. and never stop creating. So here's an awesome drawing of, uh, a landscape one of the wow. days at camp we did landscapes and mm -hmm. isn't that amazing just so good i like that he used his whole sketchbook for yeah. his landscape the he entire went thing all out that's amazing and i love the silhouette of that bridge going across the middle amazing. of the page super cool hey guys we are seeing your emails come in thank you so much we're going to share some of those pictures soon so yeah thanks you guys and uh and here's a uh, a really cool character that this guy came up with as well and i just love it it's kind of creepy it's like an evil uh, bad guy, monster. This guy is one of the kings of creating characters. Yes, he, absolutely. You're a king, buddy, at creating characters. Yeah. You did so well at camp. Every time I walked past his table, he was making somebody new. And it was really, really, really cool to see. Very cool. Yeah. And we've got Dundrum. two. We got some people from Dundrum. And, just uh, got an email from you guys. Thank you. And uh, just a really, really great job on your Spider-Man. Just yeah, doing the, look at that anatomy. The pose is just so good, and it was just really, really well done. And Pascal, great job as well. Oh, I love I how you Pascal. made it. You made Pascal your own. You got your own characters and all, or your own colors and all that kind of stuff. So super cool. I think cool. Pascal should be that color. Well, I guess yeah. he can be, right? Because he changed his color. Yeah. Nice job. This was cool. You, I love this. You made made a a arcade machine, made it your own, and like added your own your own little. I think that's Mario on there, which is really really cool. That's it's incredible. super good. Another Pascal, great job with this one. I love the shading and the textures and all the different lines. Super, super, super good. You don't even have to guess. You can tell from right away that is definitely Pascal. Yeah. That's really, really accurate. Really good. Yeah, super good. And we've got a whole Lorax world. <gasps> this was cool. because Everyone's got mustaches. Everyone's got mustaches, <laughs> and it's just a lot of fun. And uh, I, I Look love that. Look at the that. trees. Yeah, isn't the that trees cool? are incredible. Super wow. cool. Wow. She must have brought her own pens because those pens look amazing. Yeah. Don't they look cool? They like do look watercolors. Cool. Okay. This, this yeah. guy was in my room. This was amazing. Okay. So we drew, what, 20 characters? Yeah. That week in Dundrum. Every character that we drew, he put them in the same landscape. So by the end of the week, he had an entire two pages of his sketchbook with every different character that so we cool. drew all across it, all interacting together. And it was so fun. So this picture shows you almost all of them, but guys, he put even more characters yeah, in there. Yeah, it was really cool. You can cool. see Stitch like surfing in the middle. You can see he made uh, a shark along the bottom, an octopus. He did so many different things. So he had like all these different characters from all these different worlds all yeah. put in the same world together. It was so cool. Yeah. It was so fun. It was really cool. All right, you guys ready for level two? Yeah. All right, yeah. here we go. We're going to go and uh, get started on Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse, we're going classic here today, guys. We're going classic with this character. All right, so if anybody's looking at this Mickey Mouse and they're like, oh, I don't know, just remember, every time we draw anything, it always starts with shapes, okay? So this is our level two, so it's slightly more complicated, but I think you guys can handle it. So first shape that I see that's probably the biggest shape on Mickey's whole anatomy is his head right? His head's just a big old circle. So that's what I'm going to draw first. I'm going to draw a big circle. Okay, actually, and I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. Hang on one second, guys. I'm going to rub this out. Okay, big circle for Mickey's head. Now I did it too big. That's okay, that's why we rub things out. All right, third time lucky, here we go. That looks good. Okay, so we've got our big circle head for Mickey. All right, next big shape that I see is I think I'm gonna draw Mickey's body next. So right underneath his head is another circle. You see where his like, his trouser buttons are? So there's a circle that comes out like right here. Okay, and that's where his trousers are gonna be. All right, and then on the top of his head is Mickey's got his two iconic big perfect circle ears, okay? 
So what we're going to do is we're going to draw one here. If it goes off your page a little bit, that's all right. All right, and then see how his head is turned a little bit, right? So because his head's not straight on like this, his ears would be like this. But because his head is turned, see how his ears are at like a different angle here because his head's turned? So we've got one ear on the top of his head, and we've got one ear on the side of his head like this. Right, guys? So all we've done so far is we've drawn four circles, okay? All right, next step, we are going to get started with Mickey's legs, all right? So right at the bottom of his, at the top of his legs, rather, as you see where his shorts kind of come out. So I'm going to draw a little bit of a rectangle here for this leg. And then I'm going to draw another rectangle for this leg. How's it going, everybody? Doing okay so far? Some of these photos from Pikachu, we got some amazing oh, artists look at that. coming in. Yeah, they're coming in soon. Cool. So. We'll show you guys these pretty soon. All right, at the bottom of his trouser leg, it's a bit of a circle on this side, and that's where his leg comes out. So I'm gonna draw his leg coming out of there next. His leg's just gonna be like a, two lines coming down like a big rectangle. Same with this side, rectangle coming out of, out of here. And then his feet are just like big ovals, really, big circles. So what I'm gonna do really sketchy like is I'm gonna draw a little, oval here for like the top of his shoe and then I'm just going to draw a big oval like this all right guys it doesn't need to be perfect at this point right just nice and sketchy like that we'll come back and we'll rub out whatever we need to rub out the other shoe is going to be the exact same we're going to draw a little circle for the top of the shoe and then it's just going to be a big oval out but it's going to go the opposite direction you guys see that Nice and sketchy at this point, okay? If you're drawing with pencil, okay, make sure you just draw really, really light at this stage, okay? Don't press down super hard on your pencil. That way, when you go back with your eraser, you can rub it out easily, all right? Don't press super hard yet. When we get to the outlining stage, that's when we'll press down a bit harder. All right? All right, guys, next step. Let's get started on Mickey's face, right? Mickey's face is even more circles, all right? So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna draw Mickey's cheek, right? We're gonna draw a big circle here right next to this ear. So we're gonna draw a circle here, really loose and light and sketchy. And then where his eyes are, do you guys see how he has like a white part of his face and then he has a black part of his face? And it kind of comes into his, like above his eyes like this a little bit. So we'll draw that next. All we're gonna do is we're gonna draw a line here, like a semicircle. And then we're going to draw a big circle here, more of an oval, I should say, like that. All right, and then I'm going to go back with my eraser and I'm going to rub that out, that line that I don't need anymore. All right, everybody doing okay? We got the black part and the white line, that black line part where his face changes colors there, done. All right, now we're gonna do his nose, which is a little bit tricky, but this is what we're gonna do, all right? You see where, how his nose comes out? If you like squint and you look at the picture of his nose, it really is just another circle. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. I'm gonna draw a circle coming right out here. You guys see that okay? I shouldn't have said circle. It's more, it is more of an oval, isn't it? It's more of an oval. And then right at the end of that oval, I'm gonna draw a much smaller oval right for that tip of his nose his little like part of the mouse nose that like goes like like that all right and then i'm going to go back with my rubber and i'm going to take out i'm going to erase some lines that i don't need okay guys how's everybody doing we doing all right great we're doing great Tom's doing great. Tom, you're having a good time looking at all those pictures everybody's I know, emailed in. <laughs> there are so many good so many good photos coming in. Lots of good really Pikachu's. Good. Oh yeah. That's so good. Okay, once we've done that, let's get to work on his trousers, okay? So his trousers come up pretty high up his belly. You guys see that? They're up, they're like almost up to his neck. Alright, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna draw a straight line across. 
for the top of his trousers, okay? And then he's got two big white buttons at the front of his trousers. So I'm just gonna draw two circles. One there, and then the one to the other side is just a tiny bit bigger. Okay. All right, and next thing we're gonna draw is his arm. Now, his arm is like behind him, okay? So it's in like a triangle shape. So first thing we're gonna do is right at his chin, we'll start at his chin right about here, and we're gonna draw a triangle shape down and over like this. Everybody got that triangle part down? All right, just the one triangle to start. And then we're gonna draw another triangle just inside that one, but ex at exactly the same angles. All right, guys, what do you think? All we've done so far is draw circles and straight lines. Pretty simple. Yeah. If you can draw a shape, if you can draw a line, you can draw shapes. Okay. Now, guys, guess what? We can get started on some details. Okay. So for Mickey's eyes, Mickey's eyes are two really skinny ovals. Okay. The one closer to us is going to be bigger. Right? Perspective and all that. The one further away is going to be a little bit smaller. And I drew them kind of far apart, so I'm going to rub that out because they're actually a little bit closer together in my picture. Okay. A little bit closer together. So one is kind of hiding behind his nose. Do you guys see that? His nose covers like one of his eyes a little bit. Not a whole lot, but just a little. There we go. All right, and then inside of his eyes is he's just got that black part of his eye, his pupil, right? And then, of course, we've got to draw Mickey's iconic smile. So all we're going to do for his smile is the line that we've already drawn for his nose, this line right here, this line right here that we've already drawn for his nose. We're just going to continue that line, and it's going to go up towards his cheek. Just like that. All right, and then we're gonna draw a little cheek, little cheek bend for a smile there. And then where his tongue is, we're gonna open his mouth with the semicircle, like that. And then on the inside, I'm gonna rub out the inside of his mouth. Because on the inside of his mouth, we gotta draw his tongue, which is really simple. Again, just a line and a line, just like that. We've got some amazing Pikachu drawings coming in. Oh my gosh, look at Those that. They're really good. Oh my gosh, look at that. Hi guys. Oh, I see lots of our campers emailing in. Hi everybody. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we are going to decide what lines we want to keep, okay? So I've got my eraser, I've got my rubber here. I'm gonna go in. And I made this Mickey really, really, really sketchy, right? Because it was my first, my first, my first drawing of him. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go back with my rubber and I'm gonna erase. I'm gonna wipe out all the lines that I don't want to keep, okay? So I don't want to keep these lines. Remember, guys, always look at whatever picture. If you're drawing a character that already exists, right? You can have a couple pictures up for inspiration right, to make sure that you're getting it as accurate as possible as you would like to get it. But also, feel free to take creative license, as they say, and make that Mickey your own. Maybe the Mickey you're going to draw, instead of having his classic red trousers, maybe he's going to have purple polka dot trousers. Maybe he's going to be having, maybe he's going to be wearing a cape, right? Maybe he's in some fancy dress. All right, I'm going to rub out some of these lines on his ears. And 
And once we have all this stuff out, as you guys know, we'll go into my favorite part, which is always adding color. The best part. You can also take this time when you're rubbing out to go add any details. If you want to add any more details on Mickey, absolutely go for it. I'm going to add a couple more details. Oh my gosh, guys, we forgot Mickey's tail. <laughs> oh. Okay, his tail is a really, really thin line that we're just going to draw out the back here. Where does it go? It goes beyond right out of his trousers and then behind his shoe. All right, so I'm gonna just draw it over everything and then I'm gonna rub out what I don't wanna keep, okay? You guys ready? Ta-da! All right, and then, because it's behind his shoe, I'm gonna rub out this line so it looks like it's behind because his shoe is in front of his tail. Anyone see anything else that I forgot? Email me if I forgot anything else. I don't think I did though. I think he looks okay. I'm gonna add a couple more details on his shoes. I'm gonna rub out some of these old sketch lines that I don't wanna keep. That's looking real good, bro. Thanks. Guys, guess what? This is my first time drawing on this iPad. And I was really nervous. I'm more of a pencil and paper kind of girl, pen and paper. So if any of you guys are drawing something new today and you were nervous, me too. <laughs> so well done for trying something new. Okay. It's that time. We had, we had a, a couple different people, uh, draw some, some Pikachus with markers and coloring pencils and crayons, lots of different types of art tools. It's really cool. That's so fun. Can't wait to show you guys some of these drawings here. That's so fun. All right, guys, it's time to color in. All right, first the color we're gonna do is I'm gonna go in with a really light yellow for Mickey's shoe, not a light yellow, but like a, hmm, let's do a more orangey yellow. It's pretty bright. Okay. For Mickey's shoes. After I color this in too, I'll go back and I'll make some of these lines pop a little bit more. Because my color is covering up a couple of my lines. Hey, you know what? This guy's the same color as Pikachu. Black, yellow, and red. And red. Okay. Now his trousers are another bright red like Pikachu. All right. If you guys want to, <clears throat> if you guys want to, when you go and do some more details, you can go in and do some shading on his trousers right back in here. It's a bit darker red. Some spots. You know, while you're coloring, I, I just I just happen to have some really, really great jokes. Do you want to hear some great jokes? Oh, no. 
Yes, I, I do. <laughs> yeah, I think I think everybody wants to hear some great jokes. <laughs> All right, so tell us a joke. Okay. All right, joke number one. Here we go. Okay, we're ready. Where do T Rexes shop? Where do T Rexes shop? At dinosaurs. Dinosaurs. Ha ha. Good one. Thank you. Thank okay, you. wait. Next thing we're gonna draw, we're gonna take, we're gonna switch to our black pencil, and we're gonna color in <clears throat> Mickey's skin. All right, I'm ready for the next joke. Okay, here we go. Did you hear about the shepherd who drove his sheep through town? No, I didn't. He was given a ticket for making a U-turn. A U-turn. Get it? U-turn. It's good. It's good. It's good. I like it. What happens to an illegally parked frog? An illegally parked frog? Yeah. I have no idea. It gets towed away. Oh, towed. It's good. Ha -ha. That's a good one. I think. Can I tell you? Can I tell you my favorite joke? <laughs> yes. Okay. Well, one, not one, I shouldn't say it's my favorite. It's one of my favorites. My friend Samuel told me this joke, like a couple of years ago, and I absolutely love it. Okay. Why did the chicken cross the road? Why? Because. <laughs> because. <laughs> That's good. I like it. That's good. Uh, guys, sometimes it's good to laugh at your own jokes. It is. I love that joke. <laughs> I, I'm watching our stream numbers drop dramatically. No! No, you're not. I I can hear them all laughing. I bet they are. All uh, across Northern Ireland, I bet. I hear laughter coming from homes. Yeah. All right, do you have any more? Yeah, I do. Okay, okay. so why did the clock get shushed in the library? Why did the clock get shushed? It was mm -hmm. talking too loud. Oh, talking. Like TikTok, TikTok talking. TikTok, talking. That's good. Good one. So what did the cupcake say to the frosting? What did the cupcake say to the frosting? I don't know. What? I'd be muffin without you. Oh, literally a muffin. That's good. I like That's that so one. That's so cute. That's good. It's a good one. Okay, so here, here's, here's just one more. I thought about trying to make a pencil with erasers at both ends. And then I realized there'd be no point. Ha <laughs> ha! No point. It's good. It's good. There would be no point. That's absolutely right. Good one, Tom. I think you should start a career in comedy. Thank you. I was I was considering. That's really it. impressive. Yeah, I might. We'll see what happens. Cool. All right. All I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna draw a little bit of detail, or a little bit of color. Put a little bit of color in Mickey's mouth. Mickey's mouth. Mickey's mouth. Mickey's mouth. <laughs> uh, did you hear the joke about the little mountain? No. It's hilarious. Hilarious. Yeah. It's good. Cool. All right. That's our Mickey Mouse done. He's pretty simple, right? All you guys did was draw a bunch of circles, a bunch of lines, and then three colors. So well done, everybody. Great job, everybody. Well done. I think... Is it time to let's share? Sh let's share some Pikachus. I All apologize. Right. We got a couple emails from parents a little bit after we had kind of put together the slideshow. So we might throw those up on our Instagram here um, later today. Uh, but we're going to we're gonna check out some of these videos. You guys ready? Some of these drawings. Here we go. Yeah, some of these drawings. Here we go. So we've got a few really cool ones. Ooh, isn't that one so good? Isn't that so good? Oh, it's so good. It. It's Great job. I love that one. Okay, here we go. Let me find... Um, here we go. Aw. <gasps> Aw, I know her. I know her. Yeah. Great job. Great job. That's awesome. Super Very job. cute. Very good. We got one from Benny and Erica. Great <gasps> job, guys. Great job, you guys. I love it. Very good. I like your, your tablecloth. And then we got one <gasps> James! from James. Hey, James. Hi, Congrats James. Congrats on becoming a big brother, buddy. Awesome job. I actually, you did his whole body. I love the tail. You did such a good job in the tail. Very, very good. Yeah. Good we got job, one buddy. by Quinn. <gasps> hey, awesome Quinn. job, Quinn. Great job. Love it. And we got one by Lacey. Great job, Lacey. This is so good. Oh, I love the colors, Lacey. Yeah, I love I how love bright it is. I love the colors. And you did the lighting in the eyes. Very Excellent. Cool. And then we've got this one. I'm pretty sure this is our friend Erica. Great job, is it Erica. Erica? Nice yeah, job, she's Erica. She's getting started on her Mickey down there. Down there. 
Nice. And uh, and I love this one. Ooh. If you just turn your head, just turn your head like this. Oh, and look, there's our part of create stuff. I love it, and I love the shading. You got like really dark yellow on the yeah. outside edge, and it gets really a little it's bit lighter here. Some advanced artist there. That's very very cool. Yeah. So, are you guys ready for uh, level three? I think we're ready for. Level are we three. Love, ready for level three? All right. So let's start with level three. I don't know if you guys are ready for this. We're gonna get going on uh, drawing one of my favorite. One of my favorite characters, Leonardo from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And I honestly, I was I was so impressed by the new movie. I don't know if you guys saw it, but it, it was it was really really cool the way that they designed all the characters and everything. I agree. And so Leonardo, we're going to draw him, but he's a I think I'm actually going to draw him a little bit different than the reference photo. That's just kind of help us get us our colors and Maybe just some of the dimensions of them, but I'm going to have him pose a little bit different than that picture. You guys can pick a pose, whatever you guys would like to draw, but I'm going to have him kind of standing straight forward um, and leaning leaning towards us a little bit. But, um, but what we're going to do to draw this character is we're first going to draw a circle for his head. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start up here and I'm just going to lightly draw in kind of an ovalish shape for his head. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to measure... I'm going to look with my thumb or with whatever it is that I can use to kind of measure. I'm going to look at the picture of Leonardo and figure out how many heads tall he is. And that'll help me know how big and how tall to make him. So I know that he's about one, two, three, four, about five heads tall. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to really lightly draw in four more heads. One, two, three, four. And then that I'm going to draw a really light line. And that's how long... He's going to be. That's what, about how tall he's going to be. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with his torso. I'm going to bring his torso down to just above right here on this middle line right here. And then I'm going to draw a rectangle shape. Now, because he's going to be kind of leaning forward, I'm going to have this rectangle get wider at the top and more narrow at the bottom. Now, remember to make sure your, your sketches are really, really light because the lighter your sketches are, the easier it is to erase later. You guys can pick your best lines. But this line is going to be kind of a, a, a rectangle that just gets wider at the top, right? If we were to follow this line, it would actually be a really, really long uh, triangle, but we're going to cut it off right here. So we've got that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to draw on the shoulders. Now, to draw shoulders, generally you want to use a circle, circular shape. And so I'm going to draw a circle shape right here that the top is going to meet on the outside of that rectangle. And then I'm going to draw another one right here on this, right here on this, uh, on this side of his body. And so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of pick where his hands are. Now, Ninja Turtle's arms are like super, super long. They're longer than an average person's arms. Yeah, so, turtle's arms. Than wait, what did I say? Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Longer than a turtle's arms for sure. Than an average for sure. Yeah. yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to draw in a circle to pick where his hand's going to be. And I'm going to have one hand up and one hand going down. Now it's Leonardo, so he's gonna have two um, swords in his hands. And so then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kinda connect these arms here with cylinders. So I've got one cylinder here that's gonna kinda come straight into the elbow, and then it's gonna kinda come out for his forearm, because his forearm gets bigger on the front, right? And so for his hand, we got a hand right here. And then over here, we're going to do the exact same thing. We got a line kind of connecting the two. And then his elbow is a circular shape right in the middle. And then we're just going to connect them like this. One thing that's really cool that I'm noticing that you're doing is anytime you draw like a joint, mm -hmm. like a Your shoulder, elbow, an elbow, a wrist, every time wrist, you've drawn a joint, it's always a circle. A circle. Yeah. And the nice thing is, is if you're looking at a drawing that's really complicated, you can always take it and, and break it down into circles and, and different shapes. So a wrist, it doesn't really look like a, a circle when you look at a wrist, but if you were to kind of visualize it from like a bird's eye pr perspective, it actually is a circle. It helps us get us the right the right shape and the right size That's for really each cool. different, different part of the body. So what we're gonna do here is we're going to draw a foot. I'm gonna draw it right here. Two ovals on either side. These are going to kind of be his feet. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a line up and over. 
and then I'm going to draw a circle for the knees. That's cool. That's super cool. So then what we can do is now that we've kind of got like the wireframe for him, and this is what's interesting is when we draw, we learn how to draw with stick figures. And stick figures aren't bad at all because we can actually use them to build out what we want our, the shape of our character to look like. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line here at the top of his leg and then the bottom of his leg. And then I'm going to draw one here for the top of his leg and the bottom of his leg. And they're, they're going to meet where those joints for the circles for the knees are. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same thing down here. And that's going to go the outside in the inside and you got your calf muscle that kind of comes out on the insides of his legs and then his feet have two toes so one two he has two toes yeah yeah i didn't know that they've got two toes and i'm going to draw here now feet and hands are hard to do so make sure you guys take some time on those and don't worry about getting them just right because they're difficult they're really hard to do i've been drawing for 30 something years and feet and hands are still super, super hard to draw. I think you did a good job. Thank you. So what we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to go over these lines here and kind of connect them in. Now on his stomach, he's got the front of his shell. So what we're going to do is we're going to draw in his shell like this in the front, and then it's going to come down right here. So his shell kind of comes down across his whole body. And then what we can do is he's got like a line that goes down the middle and across like this. So I'm just going to lightly draw in the lines across his body. We've got lots of emails coming in with some very good Mickey Mouse drawings. Do you remember Tom from camp? You're Tom, but you remember the Tom from camp? Yeah. He did some really, really, a really, really good job with his Mickey. He even oh, colored sweet. in Mickey's face nice. the right color. Nice. Good job, Tom. So I'm going to start on this one hand down here. So I'm going to draw a, a cube like this. And that's just going to kind of help me get his hand. He's only got like three fingers. Turtles are weird. So the thumb is on the inside, so I'm going to draw an oval. And then I'm going to draw two fingers coming down right here. And then for the, the, the sword, he's kind of got like a hilt at the sword, so it kind of comes like that. So it's an oval over. And then this line's going to come up straight out of here. For his sword like that and then we're gonna do the same thing for this arm right here you got one finger and two fingers and then his thumb coming down here do you have any tips for drawing those fingers what kind yeah of shapes I would just do kind of? ovals right so one Oval. and then two and then his thumbs gonna kind of come across over in front of it so his thumbs gonna come down and cover up his one finger cool. and then we've got one straight line for the sword that comes over here and then we've got this the I don't even know what they call that little guard thing over your hand and then the sword's gonna come up here like that now I know you guys probably have seen the movie but he, the uh, he's got these another shell on his back that's even bigger right and so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna cover I'm gonna make that a little bit darker on the back and have that come across on his back just like that and then I'm just gonna kind of shade it in because it's a little bit darker and so then I'm gonna start drawing in his face and I'm gonna give you guys a couple seconds to catch up because I know you guys can always press pause on the live stream and it'll catch up with us if you press pause while we're streaming um, it won't skip ahead. I've actually looked into this to try to figure out if that was the case, but you can actually press pause and, uh, and have it, have it catch up to where we're at, um, on your own pace. So what we're going to do is we're going to start in the face. So I've got two, two shapes for the face. I've got a really big oval that covers the bottom half. And then we're going to draw another circle that kind of comes up above it. So what you'll see is the, the overall line is a small upside down U and then it comes out on the sides like that. And then what we can do is we can draw a line straight down the middle 
to help us know where to put his left and right eye. A line straight down the middle helps us make sure that we're measuring out where each thing goes. So then I'm going to draw a circle right here and I'm going to keep those circles about even from each other from that middle line. And I'm going to have him looking this direction. So I'm going to draw in those eyes like that. Now he's wearing his his uh, headband. So it's going to come down at an angle just slightly like that. So it's going to kind of come down almost like angry eyebrows to make him look a little bit like he's, ha he's happy, but he's a little intense. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw two little lines right here and then connect them in a smile, just like that. And you've got his face. Now he's got these really cool little things coming off the side. So I'm going to draw them right here. Ninja mask. His ninja mask comes off on the side. And then I'm going to draw in his belt. He's got this really big belt right here. It's a square shape in the middle with the latch on the side. And then I'm going to just kind of put in some sketch lines there. And then he's got these big things on his knees that we can add in. Tom, would you like to hear a turtle joke? I would love to hear turtle joke, <laughs> yes. Okay, what do you get when you cross a turtle with a giraffe? Ooh, I don't know. A turtleneck. <laughs> nice. That's very good. Okay, I have one more. You ready? Yeah. What type of photos does a turtle love to take? Ooh. Slow motion? Oh, that's good, but no. No? Shelfies. Shelfies. Very nice. Shelfies. I love it. So he's got his, he's got these things on his uh, like elbow pads as well. So we're gonna put those in. We can draw little lines there, coming across. And then when you're done with that, you guys can go back and erase those guidelines that you're not gonna use anymore. I'm just gonna erase these on his shoulders, his elbows. Kind of just go through and erase those things I'm not gonna need anymore. Awesome job. I hope I can't wait to see your guys' drawings. I'm looking. I'm really looking forward to it. We're gonna post these because we're about to end the stream, so we're actually gonna post these on our uh, our Instagram later today, so you guys can see uh, your photos over there on our Instagram stories. And so, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start drawing in or coloring in his arms. And so I'm gonna start with my normal color. This was just green. That's going to be kind of like my base color um, before I add any shadows or highlights. I'm just going to add in this green. And then I'm going to add in the blue for all his little outfit things, right? Because every Ninja Turtle has a different color. He's Which blue. turtle is this one? This is Leonardo. Leonardo, Leo. Do you know who the red one is? Do you know that? Michelangelo. Michelangelo. And do you know who the purple one is? Uh, Raphael? Nope. Donatello. Donatello. And then you've got, I think it's Raphael is the orange one? That's the one that's left. So yeah, it's the last yeah. one, yeah. You know what? I forgot to color in his face. Oh, yeah. It's probably important. And then I'm going to draw in his shell. Hey, Tom, why can't a turtle eat from McDonald's? Why? Because it's too slow for fast food. Ooh. Not a ninja turtle, though. They are not slow. We turtles. should go to McDonald's after this. <laughs> you think so? Yeah, go get a breakfast sandwich. That sounds amazing. It does. Okay. <laughs> so then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to add in kind of the gray for the, she for the, for the sword. So I got kind of a gray line. Ooh, that's cool. And then what I can do is if, if I want to make some shadows, right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lower the color that I have on the shell and make it a little bit more red because red is, a warm, is, a, is kind of a, a warmer color. We're going to put that in there. So we're going to add in some darker oh, colors that. on the insides of the shell. Some really nice tones. I'm going to add it on the back side there too. It's fun to shade with colors that aren't black. Because it makes it look more realistic, I think. Yeah. And if you want to take a green and make it look like a shadow, like a highlight, what you want to do is you want to take your green and make it a y more yellow. 
So I'm going to make some yellow highlights on the outside edges of his arms and at the top of his head right here, outside edge of his head, I'm going to add in a lighter, more yellowish green and that'll actually help us get highlights on our character. So if you're using colored pencils, if you already colored him in green, you can just get a yellow colored pencil and just yeah, color it right over it. Yeah, just mix it right in, yeah. 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 And then if we want to add a shadow on a green, what color do you think we would move towards, Brooke? A shadow on a green. Be the opposite direction, right? Yeah, so you got to go towards cool colors, right? So yeah, so we would go towards a blue maybe? Yeah. So blue if I were purple. to add a blue color, and then on the sides of his arms where oh, it's, that's so cool. there's a little bit more shadow, I can add in that blue. You're just doing a little bit. You're not really... No, it's not a ton. It's just a little bit to give it a little bit of cool shadows, right? So underneath his chin, it's going to be really dark. So we'll just add that there, maybe under his nose. We'll just add in all those little colors to make it look really, really cool. And then I'm actually, love that. because because he's got the little things on his body, I'm gonna actually just oh, kind of yeah. come in through here with a darker, a darker tan to get those colors. And we talk a lot about cross hatching at our camps mm -hmm. and using lines to get different textures. So I'm just gonna do that. I'm gonna draw in some some lines here. That's like, I think probably one of my favorite parts of the animation from the new movie. Oh is yeah. Is all the textures they did and all the characters. Did you notice that? Yeah. None of the characters were like really clean cut. Yeah, it was all very, very sloppy. And I loved it, it was intentional. Yeah, and it that, was super different. One, I watched a video a little bit about the making of the movie and they said the style that we wanted to go for with this movie was what it looked like when a, when a teenager would doodle on the sides of their papers at school. That's like when so you would cool. spend all your time working at school and so you would just kind of draw something on the side. So that's what we wanted to do. We wanted to make sure that it looked like a teenager's ideas came to life in this movie, which I think is super cool. That's amazing. So I think that's it. I think we're good. I think we got it. He looks great. He looks a little bit too purple. Yeah, he I'm almost gonna, looks like his brother. Yeah, so I'm going to add a little bit more blue. Donatello, right? That's the purple one. Mm hmm. Add a little bit more blue here. There we go. And we got it. I'm going to add some blue in there. Why not? Yeah, give him all the blue accessories. Make it really light on the outside edges right there. He looks awesome. And there we go. And if you want to add in a, a shadow, what I like to do is I just take the side of my pencil and just lightly go in between his feet like that. That's kind of where the shadow would end up being, right? Right there. Now it doesn't look like he's just floating in space. Yeah, it looks kind of standing there. That's great. So if you have uh, drawn your character with us, we would love to see it. So make sure you guys send it to us. Uh, email it to us at partycreatekids at gmail.com. We would love to see it. And um, I think we're like, we are ready to go. Is that yeah, it? Yeah, that's it. Those are our three drawings today. We've hit all the levels. So thank you guys so much for joining us. We hope you had a fantastic time. I know we did. We had a ton. I had so much fun. Yeah, really enjoyed that. that we're was looking really forward great. to next time. We will get, we'll be posting on our social media and in our newsletter. Uh, all information about the next thing that we're doing. So we can't wait to hang out with you guys again. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. We'll see you.